think that is the last pair. Shout out to all the pair. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sam Alexa, and today's video is a special video because we just hit a thousand, one thousand subscribers. That is like. That is so crazy. There's a thousand of you guys like supporting and watching. So I just want to say thank you because like it really does mean a lot. There's quite a long way to go, but we are growing so fast now. So to anyone that's recently subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. I've got lots more videos to come. Also, if you're wondering, why am I sitting on the floor? I don't know. Last video, I was sitting on the floor when I did a um, UC Pickup Women view. And it's just really comfortable. I don't think I'm having a breakdown. Another thing is, I know this has got nothing to do with the video. I know some of you do know and some of you don't know. But I do play basketball. And yes, I like to do, I like, I like to spin the ground basketball. Dude, I I like to spin the ground basketball. Which means now that if anyone like crosses me or like, you know, just like shows any disrespect, I can just do. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's just get straight into my sneaker collection. I did do one like. It was maybe like three months ago, so it's quite a while ago. I have bought quite a few pairs since then. Maybe I should like chill out because I've been buying so many pairs of shoes recently. I'm not trying to go broke. So the first pair then, I think I'm going to start off with like the more like rare hype shoes, I guess. In fact, I'm going to do like a couple of rare ones, then like cool beaters, and then like just ones that I wear regularly, and then like hype ones, and then just mix it up. So the first pair then, I have these, I picked these up from the Supreme store. In London, I used to do like lots of vlogs at the Supreme store a while back. And one of those, I don't know if I vlogged it or not, but I picked these up. These are the Supreme CDG Comme des Garcons Air Force. I haven't actually worn these yet. The thing is, Air Force, it creased super easily. I did do a video on how to uncrease Air Force, although I just don't want to crease them. So I haven't worn them yet, but they are such a clean shoe. You've got that swoosh that's been cut in half. And then on the back, it says Comme des Garcons. Super clean colorway as well. Just that simple black with the white swoosh and the white sole, so that is the first pair. And yeah, I haven't worn any of these yet. I think these and a pair of Yeezys are the only ones I haven't worn yet. These ones right here, other than that, I wear all my shoes. You're gonna see like most of them are really like, like not looking too good. What happens is usually I buy a pair of shoes. I maybe keep them for a couple of weeks and then I just start wearing them every day. And then I end up having to get a new pair of shoes because the last one's just completely destroyed. But it is what it is. I'd much rather just like wear my shoes rather than having a bunch that I don't wear. So getting into the second pair then. I'm gonna go with... <sighs> okay, these are the... I did a Superstar City series and these came out so incredibly long ago I don't know why I've still got them if I do I keep most of my shoes unless they're like in terrible condition unless they're like super beat up I don't keep them if they don't look too bad then I do keep them these are just the Superstars with that New York on the back and then they say New York in gold just there I don't wear these anymore however I just keep them because I just like don't see the point in getting rid of them if they're not in like too bad condition that is the second pair then I'm gonna get into I'm just gonna like work my way down so the third pair are the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royals these are like they're not like rare shoes or anything they're not like a limited pair of Jordan 1s but I was able to get them for 60 no these were 50% off I think I paid 65 pound for them when they're usually 120 so I just ended up picking them up I think I might have worn them I think I might have worn them once I do really really like them they are super clean colorway as well a lot of these shoes that you guys see me wear a lot of them are Jordans I used to buy Jordans like a lot a lot like I used to have quite a few of them but I kind of just started buying Vans and then I started buying Yeezys now I'm kind of like slowly getting a like a good mixture of both some of the shoes I have they're like really really rare but some of them are just not aware at all i kind of like it that way because it means that i have pairs that i can just wear like every day and then pairs that um like keep for like nice or whatever so getting into the next pair okay i actually did a custom on these these were a all white pair of leather cortez you can see they got the flames on the front i um i bought these for like 24 pounds from my outlet and then i did a custom video i just painted these flames on the front i think they look pretty good i think they go really well with this hoodie that's the only time i've really worn them getting into the next pair then so these are the these are the metallic fives i think this is one of the longest this is one of the pair of shoes i've had in my collection for the longest i really like this shoe it's the air jordan 5 metallic silvers you can see they're not in like too good of a condition like the front is super crisp and like the bottom it's fairly yellow too fair since i've had these nearly four years now they're not in that bad condition i feel like they could be way worse seeing as jordan fives and most shoes with an icy sole 
They tend to yellow pretty badly. Seeing as I've had them so long, they're not looking too bad, to be fair. Anyway, yeah, that is now the one, two, three, four, fifth pair of shoes. So these are the Yeezy 350 V2 True Forms. So I did pick these up like two days ago ish, and they are the Yeezy 350 V2 True Forms. Got the orange on the back. I said in the video that it would go really well with this orange hoodie, and wouldn't that look so sick? You got the orange on the back with the orange hoodie. It would like, look so clean. I don't know what jeans I'd wear with that. Maybe like like an all black pair of jeans with this hoodie with the orange on the back. That would look so clean. Or maybe blue jeans. I'm really not too sure. But I do think they are a really sick pair of Yeezys. Getting into the next pair. Let me do these. I've got two pairs. Two pairs of customs here. I'm not sure where the box is. But I did a custom video on these a while back. And they are the Vans Old School Burberry Inspired Custom. These took so long to do. I haven't worn them because... I never actually finished the other one. The other one's right there. I'll show you the other one. So this is the other shoe. I never ended up finishing them, which I might finish them, but I'm not too sure to be honest if I ever will because it took so incredibly long. It was so much like detail to do on the shoe, but I do think they are cool. Like if I had like both of them, it could look really good for like, I don't know if I had like a Burby hat or something that could look really cool together. But yeah, this is just a custom that I did for a video a while back and they are the Burberry inspired vans old schools getting into another pair of customs that i did this was the first pair of customs i ever did i'm gonna be honest they're not too bad like i think for the first customs i ever did they don't look too bad these are the vans old school vape inspired you got these sharks like you know the shark bit here on the hoodie i didn't come up with this custom myself i did um get the idea from somebody else it's got like the sharks on the side of it and then you have that camera going around the edge. I've worn these a couple of times now and to be fair, the paint's held up really well because I wasn't sure if the paint was going to come off because of like the bad weather and like rain or like dirt. But to be fair, they've held up like pretty well. I can't lie. Like they're not looking too bad. So yeah, that's another pair of custom shoes that I did. Um, but to be fair, I don't wear a lot of these shoes too much, like the custom ones. Just because I am worried that the paint's going to get ruined because they take a while to do. I do really enjoy like um, doing them anyway. Getting into the next pair of Vans then. Mm. These are the, I just literally picked these up. I wore these in the vlog that I did on um, this Yeezy pickup. And I thought it would be really cool if I left the tag on the shoes. Cause you know what I mean? Like you leave a tag on the shoes. It looks like you just like put them on for the first time. Like I don't even know like half an hour maybe into me wearing them. The tag fell off. I just lost the tag on the shoes. I have no idea what happened to it. But like I kind of lost a bit of swag when I lost it. So these are the Vans Old School Checkers. The red and white pair if it can focus. Yeah, so these are such a cool shoe. I, I swear, I wanted these a while back. These used to be super popular, actually. Where, like, the Vans Old School, the black and white ones used to be more popular. And I never ended up picking a pair up. But I do really like them. I have a lot of red stuff. And I think it will go really well with, like, some of the pieces that I have that are red. They are a super simple and just clean looking shoe. Getting into the next pair, then. I'm going to go with this one. So, I've got another pair of Yeezys here. I haven't actually worn these yet properly. They are the Yeezy. 350 v2 semi frozen yellows they're like such a loud shoe like you've got to have like some sort of like crazy either like neon green top to wear with these or you just gotta go with like a simple all black fit i don't know how else you could pull such a loud colorway off that green is like hella popping like look how bright it is it looks like a highlighter everyone compares it to the uh, mcdonald's burger wrapping it's such a bright loud shoe i do really like the colorway though i think i'm like really into like shoes that i haven't seen before so these definitely are one of those where it's just so incredibly loud i don't know i just thought it was really cool so that's another pair of yeezys in my collection and i think these i do prefer these much more than these just because i feel like these go with so much easier to wear compared to these because they are such a loud loud shoe hold on let me just close my curtain because it's reflected on the screen okay i think that does that look better i'm not sure anyway getting into the next pair then this is the first pair of jordans i ever picked up and they are the yeezy no they're not what am i on about these are the jordan 11 legend blues these are the first pair of jordans i got these came out in like 2014 which is like so incredibly long ago because it's 2019 now that's like five years ago and to be fair right they're not in that bad of a condition i don't think like for five years the soles aren't looking too yellow in fact no they are actually they look super yellow the creasing it's not looking too good like you see that crease there that's not looking 
that's just not really it, is it? So my favorite model of shoes are the Air Max 95s. And these, you see me wear these in my intro at the start. Like I think it's the bit where I'm on the train. I like I tap my foot or whatever. They are the Nike Air Max 95 Ultramarine. It's such a clean, clean colorway. I don't get to wear these very much because the leather on them, it gets really creased really, really easily. So I don't wear them too much, but you can see I definitely do wear them. Just not too much because that leather creases so badly. Like the other one, look at the other one. You see how badly it's creased just there. Maybe if they were like mesh, I would wear them a lot more. But that leather, it just creases up so easily. They're super comfortable. And they're just like, you can wear them with pretty much anything. And they're comfortable. And they look good. And they come in so many different colorways. Like I've got these. And I've got the... In fact, nah, I'm going to come back to that one. Because otherwise the boxes are going to fall onto my head. Getting into the next shoe then. Got some more Vans. These are the... Van Skate High. These are the, I think these are the 50th anniversary. Yeah, these are the 50th anniversary for Van Skate Highs. And these are just like a simple checkered pair. I don't wear these too much. I used to wear these all the time. You can see like around the edge just how like it's got like scuffed and stuff and the colour started to fade. But once again, just another pair of simple, just a pair of simple Vans really. So the next pair of shoes are these these are the air max ones they were color changing but when i got these right they used to color change and it looks so good like you'd step out in the sun and the white bit around the edge but it's not really white it's more of like a cream color but it would go like blue like the back there and the um you see the blue on the front just here it used to go like that kind of blue and i put them in the wash so many times they don't change color at all anymore they just look yellow i don't know what's going on with them to be honest so i don't have too many pair of shoes left i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine pairs of shoes to go through and let's get into the next one. Oh, these are so sick the jordan 60s the infrareds oh my days i haven't properly properly worn them yet i've like tried them on and stuff but i haven't worn them out i'm kind of waiting until it gets to summertime because like look at that icy sole with that nike air on the back you see the lacing on the front and then the nike air on the back and then the icy sole they're just such a clean clean shoe i've wanted these for so so long getting into the next pair then which is the puma classic black and white i think i got these around the time like um a lot of rappers have been endorsed by puma i don't think i bought it because of them i actually didn't choose to buy these I actually got these for my birthday, but I do think they are a really cool shoe. They're super easy to wear as well. I've got a pair of white Air Force that um, are kind of similar, except the Air Force and these ones are Puma. But I've got these Air Force. They look like, they almost look like identical. They look like kind of like the exact same shoe. But it, like if you want like a super light pair of shoes, these wear like, they wear like literally nothing. I wouldn't say they're the most comfortable shoes ever because like they're not very comfortable. They are super light and I think they are pretty cool as well. Like, they don't do too much, but I think that white and black makes them super easy to wear, just like the Vans Old Schools. Getting into the next pair then, the ones that I just showed you, the white Air Force. They weren't all white pair of Air Force, but they got so creased and just like so like incredibly dirty looking. That I ended up thinking, right, if I was to paint the back black and the swoosh black, they will look like kind of retro and OG. So I think you can kind of get away with wearing them creased now because they, they kind of look have like that retro look or white upper with the black swoosh. Getting into another custom that I did then. I did these for a custom video and they are the Louboutin inspired Nike Air Force Ones. You have those spikes on the front of the shoes which haven't fallen off, which I'm, to be fair, but I can't say they haven't fallen off. The other one has fallen off even though I haven't worn them. I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear them to be honest because I did paint the sole red just like the Louboutins are. And I feel like if I was to wear them, like properly, properly go out and wear them, the bottom will just get ruined. Like, can you imagine it scraping across the floor? You come home and there'll just be a pair of white Air Force with spikes. They wouldn't even look like Louboutins anymore. Getting into the next pair. Into the next pair then. These are, whoa, I've had these for like nearly four years now. A lot of the shoes boxes, I write the, uh, the date on so I can look back and see where I got it from. I've had them for a long, long time. They are the Vans Skate Highs with that black suede and that blue on the side of the shoe. I used to wear these all, all the time, which is crazy because they've barely got any wear on them at all. So, how many pairs have I got left? I've got four, only four left to show you. Let me just go and go, do you know what? I'm gonna save my favorite pair of shoes to all last. Let's go with these. These are the Yeezy 700 Inertias. If I can get it open. And here they are then, the Yeezy 700 Inertias. I just, just picked these up. These are like, I really, really, really wanted the Wave Runners. You know, the OG 700s. 
but at that time I just wasn't really feeling them but having them in hand now I do love this colorway I really wish that I picked up the OGs they are so similar to the V2s but they have more of that like chunky Balenciaga triple S look to them which I really really like I kind of like chunky big shoes like the Air Max 95s they're pretty chunky not really as chunky as the 700s but they definitely are like chunky dad looking shoes let's get into Okay, got two pairs of betas. I'll just quickly show you these. These are the Nike Cortez Triple Blacks. Super easy colour to wear in my opinion. They go with basically anything. Same as like a pair of Vans Old Schools or a pair of Air Max 95s. They go with pretty much anything. So I did pick these up and they're just a pair of black Vans. No, black Cortez Nylon. Nike Cortez Classic Nike. I'm getting to the next shoe. Getting into the next pair. These are my second favourite pair of shoes in my collection. And they are the Nike Air Max 95 triple blacks that I wear like so incredibly much like I did do a full restoration video on these because I went out and I wore them and they got completely muddy so I did do a restoration on them and I ended up wearing them again and just ruining them so this is the last pair of shoes that I've got to show you and these are the these are my favorite pair of shoes in my collection by the way they are the Jordan 11 Concord 2019 with that 45 on the back of the shoe. This is one of those shoes where it doesn't matter where you go, where you are, someone will always compliment you. Like they stand out so much. I need to chill out wearing them so much because the soles are really starting to yellow. But they are my favorite pair of shoes in my sneaker collection. And that was also the last pair of shoes that I've got to show you as well. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I showed you all of the shoes in my sneaker collection. I have copped like so many pairs since the um, last sneaker collection video that I did. Make sure to let me know in the comments like which your favourite pair is out of all of these shoes. Mine are the Concords, but like if you've got a favourite pair of shoes that like you think the best out of my collection, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video then. Before I go, I do just wanna say once again, shout out to everyone who's been subscribed since day one. And shout out to everyone who's been subscribed recently. Like to everyone who's been supporting since like I first started taking this YouTube thing seriously. Shout out to you. I read all the comments, like every comment I read them. And like I still like the same people commented all the time, being super supportive. So shout out to you. I really do appreciate it. Like thank you because like to go from like like before Christmas, I didn't even have a hundred subscribers. Like a couple months later, to have over a thousand, like seeing the growth now, it's crazy. So to everyone who's been there since day one, thank you for supporting. And to everyone who's subscribed recently, thank you so much. Like to see the growth now, it really is cool. And to get a thousand subscribers now, I do really appreciate it. So shout out to everyone who's been subscribed and who subscribed recently. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. And if you are new to my channel, if it's the first video you've seen from me, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because we are on the way to 10,000 subscribers now. We're growing so incredibly fast. Like in like by summer, I'm sure we're gonna have 10,000 subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed already, make sure to join the family and hit subscribe down below. Also, turn on the bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. If you did like this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching. It's been your boy Sam Alexa. I'm out. Peace. I'm on a new low, headed to another league. This year will never stop. My future looks overseas. I'm on a new low. Check out the blueprint. I'm rocking Gucci, mix that with Javanchi. I'm on a new level, so see if I can do it. Just like it's Nike, may I just do it?